Buddy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Chainsaw Man Part 2, Chapter 22, aka Chapter 119. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored in we ain't sponsored by Shoishin, we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus, and we ain't sponsored by Viz. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? But if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, ooh, we are in for a very interesting chapter because, well, Asa asked for a date and it's going to be a home date and you know who's at home. Yep. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today. And this chapter is titled Thief. Unbreakable rule number one, don't open the door to any apartment other than mine. Why haven't I opened them? Don't be ridiculous. Good point. <laughs> well, come on in. Here we go. We're in. Hmm. Oh my god. I'm feeling so nostalgic right now. That TV. I've had one of those TVs. I've had one. Oh my god. I've had one of those. If you grew up in the 90s, like I did, God, I feel old. You have one of those TVs with a built-in VCR. <laughs> Actually, my brother had that, not me. I had a TV, I had a good-sized TV in my room with cable, and then I had a VCR, a separate VCR. I was a spoiled kid. <laughs> I remember all my friends were jealous of me because and they always wanted to come to my house because I had um, a TV with cable and a VCR in my room <laughs> they, and they did not. <laughs> oh yes, I, I was I was that kid that had um, back in the day had uh, the computer with um, Windows 95 and dial up. Yeah. None of them did. <laughs> they were all jealous of me. Yeah. Wasn't in my room, though. It was because I lived in a two-story house at the time. It was in the upstairs. They all wanted to go upstairs. That was the cool... And that was the other cool room in my house. But yeah, my brother had, like, had that TV, but... That's in the, um, this chapter, but it was smaller than that one. But still had cable. I think we also had a TV like that, but I think it was maybe even a little smaller than that when we had um, we had the uh, Mercury Villager minivan. That's right. That was before they had like the, I think that was before they had the flip down. Um, you know the screens that flip down. You had that. You had like the mini TVs with the v, You know like the v, was it the VHS? Yeah, the VHSs. Yes. It was either VHS or DVD. I can't remember. Oh, God. I wish I could remember better. My memory is ass. But yeah, we had that too. Oh, my God. I was a fucking spoil-ass kid. But look at me now, unfortunately. Mm. Ooh. Oh, rule number two, don't open the fridge. Common sense not to open someone else's fridge. Oof. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rule number three. This is the most important one. My roommate's out walking the dog. She'll be home soon. She's a huge problem child with an extreme personality. No matter what, don't make out with me in front of her. Huh? Excuse me? Like, how am I going to make out with you? That is not why I came over. Huh? Uh, I know, but one thing might lead to another, and in your dreams... It's a freaking date. What the 
fuck do you want? What do you want Denji to think? Why wouldn't you even bring that up? Do you think I like you? Huh? I mean, you asked me on a date. I figure you must 90% like me. <laughs> There's no way I like you. On the contrary, I hate you. Say what? You hate me? Then why the fuck are you there, you dumbass? Yeah, I hate you. Besides, you have rules you have to obey or die, right? Well, so do I. You should just stay away from me, Denji, or you'll wind up dead. I only went on a date with you because I wanted a distraction. I'll leave after the movie. Huh? So, she was only using me? Is it normal to ask someone on a date because you like them? Uh, did I do something wrong? Was it feeding her star... Uh, was it that feeding her uh, starfish thing? Somebody once told me that I smell like wet dog. Oh, thought it was a compliment, but maybe they meant to have nice <laughs> stupid. Maybe Asa hates me because I stink. I liked her a little, but if I stink, I guess that's that. Should I not sleep with the dogs? Huh? Wait a sec. Dogs don't stink. Hey, dogs don't stink, uh, right? Hmm. Ooh! Uh-oh. Here come the dogs. Thief! Oh, shit! <gasps> Ooh! Ooh, the war devil made her move. I mean, that was wrong. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Ooh, Denji was not kidding about Nayuda. Nayuda ain't playing. Yoru, you fucking dumbass. Did you not listen to what Denji said? You moron. He said that Yoru... Yoru, he said that his roommate was going to kill you if you made out with him in front of of, um, of his roommate. And, and if you did, that he... That she... Oh my god, that she was going to kill you and who... He wasn't kidding. <laughs> Ayuda is, is very controlling. She's a control devil for a reason. Ayuda ain't fucking playing today. But fucking Asa, you dumbass. Asa, you should have kept your mouth fucking shut. Tenchi <laughs> was freaking right, though. He's like, well, I had to mention it because, you know, one thing leads to another. And you never know. And, yeah, if you make out with me in front of uh, my roommate, she's going to fuck you up. And, yeah. But, hell, even in real life it happens. <laughs> I love that he's, what he said, though. He's like, do I smell like a wet dog? Do dogs stink? Hey, sometimes they do. Just like a wet key. But hell. I'm a key person. Even though the doggos are cute, key is my way of life. Key is the best. Key is everything. Red key, you are the king. King keys. King keys. But dude, now I have to wonder what's gonna happen next. Do you guys think that Nayuda is going to expose Yoru as the war devil? I wonder if that's going to happen. She's got to. She's next week. Or I'm sorry, because this is uh, bi-weekly. Next week, I have to wonder is if Nayuda will be exposing Yoru as the war devil. Because remember, Denji a dumbass. He don't know. But Nayuda, Nayuda ain't stupid. She know. She gotta know. Well, after this attack, she'll know. She didn't know walking in. She was just pissed. <laughs> Ooh, this chapter was good. And god damn it, it was nostalgic as hell to see that TV with the VCR. I'm gonna know if anyone else was nostalgic seeing that shit. And if they had a TV like that. <laughs> Or if I'm just old as fuck. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Games Inc. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Chainsaw Man content, a few ways you could do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.